So that's there. Another story time or talk vlog segment you gave. Um, something happened today, and I just want to talk about it. Hopefully this won't be too long, but it might go. Um, it's about sheep or followers or whatever you want to call them. Um, of course, in my, um, me, my years, being a teenager, and having to go, having to go to high school is hard for a lot of people. It's hard for me. Um, it's a time of year where everyone just wants to fit in. They don't want to stand out, um, and I get that. It's, it's hard walking that road alone. Like Green Day says, you know, I walk this lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, it's true though. <laughs> Sorry. I love that song um, because it speaks to me. Because um, my mom says that I can't complain. Because I have chosen the road to t that I have chosen to take, and and it sucks. Um, but I do complain. I'm going to complain. I know I shouldn't, and I know I'm I'm not I'm not really allowed to complain if I have I have chosen this road and I have to stick by it. Um, I could go back. I could choose the other pathway, but I wouldn't be me. The thing is, with following and trying to fit in, I decide. That trying to fit in is just complicated. It's it's so much harder than just being yourself. I hate don't I don't like wearing a mask. I don't like being a fake fake shithead, basically. I don't like being fake. I am completely myself and I love being me. A hundred percent all the time. And lots of people it scares them or it's um, hard for them to uh, wrap their heads around because they're so used to having to hide behind that mask because in a world like this world, it's almost naive to to walk around without a mask. Um, but the thing is, I hate this road. I do hate this road. I hate walking alone. Walking alone is hard, especially in a world like this, and especially in high school. But the thing is, I learned that I rather hate, um, hate um, or hurt every day walking this road alone then hate myself because I am being someone I'm not. I'd rather be myself than than walk um, a life by people that don't share the same uh, morals as I do. The same sense of what is wrong what is right. Um, no, not everyone's like this. And some people are. Some people are um, choose to walk on the outskirts of life and be a misfit and um, be hated or not hated, maybe um, envied or um, frightened by, uh, feared. Um, and some people um, take their own insecurities out on them because they are so scared by you because they don't understand how you can walk um, by yourself and be strong with you 100%. Um, but us who walk alone are still hate being alone. We hate being alone. We don't, we don't like it. We want friends, yeah. Um, and we have our own insecurities. We all do. We are human. But I think that some of us kind of say, fuck that. Um, or say, it's, you know, I'd rather deal with all that than be someone we clearly cannot stand by or see, watch go by and just let happen. You know, um, and that's me. I can't. So something happened today. I'm not going to name names. Um, but there's this person that I used to be friends with. For uh, since year nine or grade uh, nine, if you want to say, um, 
I liked her. She was nice. And then, but then I realized I wasn't looking for nice. I was looking for an honest friendship. I was looking for someone I could trust. Um, and she wasn't one of them. She, she ditched me and told me I ditched her when I found someone that I loved. Yes, that person may have not loved me back. But how was I to know? And a real friend, in my eyes, in my sense of what's wrong and right, would be someone who wouldn't try and uh, break someone's happiness or your friend's happiness just because you know what's going to happen. But maybe try and warn her. And if she doesn't listen, still be there for her and to catch her when she falls. That's a true friend. You don't ditch them when they might need you the most. Some people don't listen to you because because it's love. And you know the saying, blinded by love, that is completely true. I look back and I have no idea why I dated the person I did. I don't, I don't know, now that I know what I know, I don't know how I could have ever loved someone like that. Obviously. Um, he was a very big man manipulator. And lots of people think me stupid. I don't know, bad grammar, whatever. Um, to be with someone who has done those things and said it was obvious. Well, from an outside point of view, probably was obvious. In the inside point of view, wasn't obvious at all. I had to find out by someone, and I did break it up. I break, I broke it off, and um. To all the people who judged me for saying I was stupid for being with someone like that. Well, why not call me stupid? And why not try and help me out of it? For people that judge from the outside. Honestly, I find you to be the most insensitive and horrible people. Mm, because you don't know what it is going on on the inside. Maybe I feared him. Because I did. He scared me. He had psychotic episodes. Um, he was abusive, uh, verbally, mostly. And then a lot, sometimes, he would get mad, uh, very mad, and not control his temper. And he would be a little more physical. So I would, from that point of view, I would not judge someone and be like, oh, she's stupid, she deserved to be cheated on. Because I think that is the worst thing that you could ever say. But anyways, going back to that friendship, is that is why it ended. And then she went super low. And completely ignored my existence at some festival. Like, I was right there standing next to my new, hopefully, new best friend. Or new friend. I'm not gonna... I, I must say, I've been, I have been excited because I haven't, haven't had a sleepover in forever. So I was excited that someone actually wants us to be my friend because I'm so used to not having friends because people don't are scared of, of someone who was just so honest. I am brutally honest. I know that. But the thing is, I do complain. I will complain. But... I one day maybe will learn not to because I have chosen the road and I'd rather be me, brutally honest me, than not be me at all. So I said to myself one day, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to pretend to be someone I am not and I'm going to be me 100% and if, if they don't like that, then they can go fuck themselves. And that's what I did. And not a lot of people did like that. And, but I didn't tell them to go fuck themselves. I said, that's cool. I'm not for everyone. <laughs> not everyone wants to be, well, can be themselves 100%. It's hard. It's a hard road to live by because everyone wants to fit in in a world, in the world that we live in. Everyone wants. Everyone is basically so fake nowadays. It's, you don't even know who to trust anymore. I find it so hard to trust people. So I trusted her. And I'm not mad. 
I understand why she did what she did. She's scared of being alone, and she would rather walk by someone that she knows deep down. She's told me she knows what she did was wrong, but I, I'm not mad because the road I take isn't for everyone. So I would still like to be her friend if she wants to be my friend, but I just wish someone could stand up for what was right for once. You know, stand up for someone else rather than watch it go by even though they know what that person's doing is so, so wrong. So this is what happened. I said something and this is my story to not carry. I told her I'm not mad, and I'm not. I'm just a little hurt, and I am. This is what I said, because I thought you were the one, you were one of the good ones. And But she is the good one. She is good. She's not evil. No one's born of evil. Everyone has their own insecurities and their own fears, and they have to ride that storm themselves. I chose to ride this one, and I'm still riding it. I really thought she would stand up for me or be one of the people to stand up for me rather than let someone hurt someone or be a shitty person to someone or anyone really. And I said, by walking with someone who hurts someone and does not say anything about it is the same thing as being the one who does it, which is completely true in my eyes. That is basically bystanding. You were befriending someone or walking beside someone who hurts someone that walks beside you. And I think that is sad. Mm. But then I told her I forgave her because I do forgive her. I don't, I don't hate her. I don't hate anyone. Um, I don't believe in hate. Except I do hate bullying. I hate, I know... But I don't hate police, because police go through their own storms. I hate what has happened to everyone in, of us. Um, I hate the storms that we have to face alone. I hate the higher power who has given us such horrible storms to ride out. And some of us pick different pathways, like taking it out on other people. And, and that's what I hate. I hate that they felt the need to do that. I hate that that was even a choice that they could make, but I don't hate them. But I forgave her because I do understand how hard it is to walk alone, especially in a place like this, surrounded by people like this. And I admit to myself and everyone and her that I hate being alone too. But I also hate not standing up for what I believe in. So I chose the harder road. To pretend not to care. And I do. Because I am human as well. Like you. And to walk alone. As I no longer wanted to be someone else I am not. And I don't ever want to be someone else I am not. So I no longer had to watch something happen that I knew was so terribly wrong in my eyes. And that's what happened. And that's what I just wanted to share, that to all you people who are riding storms and feeling like you have to take it out on someone or have done stuff that you regret, don't. Because it is what... who. That is, that is the journey, and that's the journey you chose, and you chose to ride out. And yes, you might have done something in the past that you have not been so proud of, or you would have chosen a different direction, but you chose it, and that's all that really matters. And you have to live with the consequences, like I am trying to live with the consequences 
as I am. I have no right to complain because I have chosen this road. And I will keep choosing this road. Like I said, and like I will ask you, why do you choose to walk beside someone who doesn't share the same values as you do? Is it because you're afraid of being alone? But isn't everyone afraid of being alone? Why or do you choose to hide behind a mask? rather than being you 100%? Is it because you are afraid that no one will like you? And what if no one likes you? Isn't it better that you know that they don't like you for you? Because why, why pretend to be someone you're not just for them to like you, to, to stand by you? Because then aren't they fake friends and they're not really real. And I would rather have real friends than ones who hide behind masks any day. And wouldn't you? Wouldn't you rather walk alone than watch something you don't believe in happen right in front of your eyes? Thank you for listening. I love you guys.